All right, pet owners. Here are 10 warning signs your pet is crying out for help. Now, you've probably heard that having a pet increases your lifespan, and it's totally true. In fact, owning a dog lowers the risk of having a major heart attack by 3%, which might not sound too impressive, but that actually makes 30,000 saved lives a year in the US alone. They do so much for us, but our little furry friends could also use some saving when it comes to health. And since they can't tell you when something's wrong, you have to pay attention to even the slightest changes in their behavior and take necessary measures immediately to keep your pet safe and sound. Coughing Dogs and cats can suffer from something called kennel cough. This condition doesn't require any special treatment and usually goes away on its own within two weeks. But the only thing is that it's highly contagious. So if you have more than one pet, you might consider keeping the affected one away from the others. Kennel cough can be more serious for puppies, kittens, and breeds with pushed-in faces like boxers, bulldogs, pugs, Pekingese, Persians, Scottish folds, and British shorthairs. And that's because their face shape may cause additional breathing difficulties. There's also a cough-like sound you might hear from time to time in smaller breeds of dogs and cats. This is called reverse sneezing, and it can indicate a slight throat irritation. It typically goes away on its own as well, but persistent coughing or reverse sneezing that lasts for more than two weeks is never a normal thing. It may be related to heart or lung disease, heartworm, bronchitis, pneumonia, or a tracheal collapse. Vomiting Ah, cats and dogs can vomit on occasion, even when they're not seriously ill. And my own dog prefers to do his barfing at 2 in the morning. Yeah, go figure. Now, they sometimes eat too much or too fast, something in their food doesn't always agree with their system, or they might run and play too soon after a meal. However, vomiting can also stem from gastrointestinal illnesses, pancreatitis, kidney disease, or parasitic infections. Cats, especially really fluffy breeds, may throw up a hairball every now and then. But if yours is vomiting more than once a month, you should probably take it to the vet. Dogs occasionally vomit if they've eaten too much grass or gotten into the trash, but call the vet if your pup is throwing up several times a day. Blood in the vomit is a major red flag that could indicate your pet has gulped down a sharp object that's irritating its stomach. A swollen belly Although a distended abdomen could simply be a sign that your pet has eaten too much, it could also indicate a digestive disorder, periodontis, hormonal imbalance, or even internal bleeding. Undiagnosed abnormal swelling in the stomach could potentially be life-threatening, as it puts additional pressure on the chest cavity and makes it hard for your dog or cat to breathe. A swollen belly in dogs can also be a symptom of an extremely dangerous condition called gastric dilatization volvulvus. If left untreated, this problem can turn out fatal for a dog within hours, which is why it's often called the mother of all emergencies. It happens if food or gas stretches a dog's belly to such an extent that it cuts off blood supply to the stomach, leading to tragic consequences. Bloat and GVD can be caused by both swallowing air and exercising too hard after a meal. You need to be extra careful if your dog is a deep-chested breed like a St. Bernard, Weimaraner, or Great Dane, eats from an elevated bowl, is given just one meal a day, tends to eat too fast, has a family history of GDV or bloat, is a senior. The risk for those 7 to 12 years old is the highest. Lethargy if your normally active pet suddenly refuses to play with you or just lies around all day, it could be the first sign of a bigger problem. Weakness or lethargy in dogs and cats usually accompanies all kinds of infections and serious diseases like diabetes, hypoglycemia, and anemia. Abnormal restlessness While restlessness itself isn't necessarily a bad sign, it could be your pet's way of telling you it doesn't feel well. If your dog or cat is being anxious or looks scared for no reason and is constantly pacing, shaking, or whining, 
This can point to a range of health issues including mange, rabies, Cushing's disease, or heart problems. It could also be a result of ingesting chocolate, which, as you know, should never be given to neither dogs nor cats. Chocolate is highly toxic for pets, usually resulting in theobromine poisoning. If you think your pet might have gotten into some chocolate, take it to the vet immediately. Unexplained weight loss Losing a little weight shouldn't be a cause for concern, especially if your pet is eating fine. But if your dog or cat has lost 10% of its normal body weight, it could be a sign of a serious issue, such as a metabolic disorder, kidney or liver problems, neuromuscular disease, or cancer. A lot of people think that when a dog or cat gets old, it naturally starts losing weight. But experts say this is simply not true. Now, when an animal gets older, it does become more susceptible to diseases that can cause it to lose weight. But old age itself can't be the reason for weight loss, since it's not an illness. So if your elderly dog or cat has started losing weight, go to the vet. Your pet is most likely ill. Excessive licking There's a number of medical problems that can show themselves in pets through constant licking. The most common reason why your dog or cat is excessively cleaning the same spot could be from pain or itching caused by fleas or an allergy. Dogs occasionally lick strained surfaces if they're having some gastrointestinal issues. Licking behavior in cats is often provoked by mental health issues like boredom, anxiety, or OCD. Indoor cats are more likely to suffer from such disorders than ones that live outside since they don't get as much physical activity or excitement. Cats can also stress out because of some changes in their environment, be it a new baby in the house or a new pet sibling. Urinating more or less frequently If your pet is peeing more frequently than it used to, it can be a sign of diabetes. If that's the case, the pet will also constantly feel thirsty. Otherwise, going PP too much can indicate kidney, liver, or adrenal gland disease. Pay attention if your house-trained pet is having more and more accidents inside, or if your dog suddenly starts begging for nighttime bathroom trips. At the same time, if your dog or cat urinates too little or has troubles with the process, it may be suffering from bladder stones or a urinary tract infection. These problems are extremely painful and potentially life-threatening. Male cats are especially prone to developing crystals or stones in the bladder, which can lead to bladder inflammation and bloody urine. Plus, this debris is most likely to plug up the urethra, preventing your pet from urinating at all. If left untreated, it can become fatal within 24 hours. So, see your vet ASAP. Hair loss or itching if your cat or dog starts losing hair on or around its ears, this can be a sign of fleas, ticks, ear mites, or mange. And if that's not the case, then it can be from endocrine problems or a fungal infection. If you notice your pet constantly scratching its ears to the point that the hair is coming off, take it to the vet right away. Laboratory testing will pinpoint if it's parasites, hormonal issues, or some sort of yeast or fungal infection. Lack of appetite Healthy cats and dogs won't ever refuse a scheduled meal or a treat. While lack of appetite is a pretty vague symptom, you should sound the alarm if your pet hasn't touched their food for more than 24 hours. In this case, the best thing to do is take it to the vet. It can be a sign of stress, pain, or fever. By the way, this condition is more dangerous for cats than it is for dogs. If a cat goes without food for even a few days, it can develop a fatal disease called fatty liver, which often results in liver failure and death when left untreated. So, what other symptoms and signs do you look for in pets? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.